This is the uh, 3rd of April, 2025. We're at Vincent Corporation uh, in the test area. Cluttered with presses and screens and, and whatnot. And what we're going to do here is we're going to run this material. Uh, it supposedly has very low moisture content. We're going to try and squeeze out what we can. We'll run a test. Here we collect trash before we get started with the test. Then we swap out for containers with a tear weight and run a fine test for the throughput uh, using a CP4L long inlet hopper press. Uh, here I've got the cone open and you can see screw turning around. See a little bit of light through that screen. Uh, slot with uh, probably about 250 microns. Cone will go shut when I push it with that. Anyway, here's the material we're going to test. And if I grab a fistful of it, I can squeeze out quite a bit of water. And I hope to do that with a screw press and make some dry cake. Okay, we're about to start. Screw is turning at uh, 20 RPM. start feeding some in. I don't expect this to bridge, but in case it does, in a bigger press it wouldn't bridge. It's feeding pretty well. Yeah, you have to feed quite a bit more in there, four or five scoops. the air pressure uh, 4 bar, 60 psi. That's pretty heavy for this press, but I know we're after maximum dewatering. Yeah, our first drops are falling through at the inlet. There's some in the middle already. Collecting the trash water down there. Got a set up to uh, do a time test. We'll see if the cone starts opening there. It's already starting to open. The first case has not been pressed. It's just been conveyed. And once the press packs solid, that dripping you see will go away. There's some cake coming out. Okay, keep the screw covered at this end. Okay. see a change in color already. The first is dark wet, black, and now it's coming out a little whiter because we squeezed the water out of it. Okay. Okay, with this I'm going to uh, get going on running a test. Okay. Test is going well. Press cake. Press liquor, a lot more liquid coming out of the uh, this side of the screen because the teeth are on this side. Cake coming out steadily. Cone's not very far open. 60 psi, 20 rpm. Normally we have to adjust those things, air pressure and and uh, screw rpm. Set it on a VFD right over here. But, um, yeah, one look at this stuff and I knew where to set it. Too much experience. Make sure it's not what it looks like over in here again. And uh, it's running away. Yeah. All right, you can't squeeze a drop out of that. Your hand's still a little moist, though, I see that. So there's some moisture left. We're five minutes into our test here. Uh, the screen's not blinding. We've got the same pattern of water coming out from the same portion of the screw. More and more towards the discharge over here uh, because it's squeezed tighter and tighter as it progresses through this press.
We just opened the cone at the end of the test, seven minutes we got. And now we'll weigh our samples and we'll know our yield and throughput capacity. Whatever that capacity is, it can be scaled up uh, to a larger press. Here we are feeding styrofoam through the press. That's to clean it out. And you can see the styrofoam coming out and falling into our trash bin. Uh, we've collected samples of the press cake, press liquor, for moisture analysis. Could have got a bottle of it here. I will see how it settles out. Uh, I'm going to go uh, on a plant tour, and when I come back, we'll see what it looks like. There's a workstation for a screw that's being worked on. And here's another. We either caught people on break, or it's the end of the workday. Uh, we're only working eight hours currently. A much larger screw. Another screw being worked on. That one's been glass bead. Black. We're getting ready. People are gonna. We're building up the OD of this screw. Uh, people are coming to pick it up next Friday as a, a trade-in. And we do have screws in inventory. And um, yeah, got that order this morning. Uh, walking down here, I come to the area where we keep pre-cuts, the larger pre-cuts, the smaller ones are all on shelves. But these are stainless steel. You'll never see this many tons of stainless steel anyplace else. Uh, they're either laser cut, some of them are water jet cut. Uh, but you see holes, uh, we don't uh, even uh, uh, drill holes anymore. They're all uh, pre-cut. We're getting down to the assembly area. Uh, presses, there's fiber filters over there, a 6 inch and a 12 inch. Another frame of another press. Stuff. A twin screw press being assembled. Uh, on this side, a couple more of these fiber filters. This is one of our CP4 presses. Uh, another press in assembly. Another. Lots of screw presses. You know, it's just, just about every one is different than its predecessor. Uh, anyway, that's Vincent. I need to add this in. Uh, here is everything set up for a test that's going to be run tomorrow morning. Obviously, you know, we don't charge for testing. And uh, the engineer on this project got a bigger sample. So far, our sample doesn't show any sign of settling out. Looks like there may be a little layer of something floating on the top. Yep, I've got something floating on the top there. Looks like the fines that would have been in that material that we pressed, we forced them through that screen, even though it has a narrow slot width. So that'll be something, uh, looks like you can float it out. You use gravity decantation. Put it in a tank and let the overflow carry away.